All right, this scene is on achalasia. We're gonna talk about symptoms, diagnosis and treatment of achalasia. So let's begin. Now we're gonna to get to the patient in a moment, but first, let's talk about this globe. When the doctor had asked the patient where he lived, the patient was unable to recall. He couldn't remember if he lived in Alaska or Asia. Alaska, Asia for achalasia. This is just going to instill in our minds that this scene is about achalasia. So let's talk about this condition. We see this patient over here, and he can't relax. This is the mechanism behind achalasia, an inability of the lower esophageal sphincter to relax. In addition, there's a loss of peristalsis in the distal two-thirds of the esophagus. How does this happen? We take a look at this bird over here, and you might have noticed that the bird has a nerve in its mouth. This nerve, being squashed by the bird's mouth, reminds us of the degeneration of the neurons, specifically the degeneration of the inhibitory neurons of the myenteric or our black plexus. This is what leads to the impaired relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter, the LES. By the way, you might have noticed that this bird outlines the barium swallow. That's right, the best initial test of achalasia is the barium swallow, which shows a characteristic bird's beak tapering of the distal esophagus. This represents the esophageal dilation. Before we talk about the most accurate test, we notice that our, that our friend over here is holding a water bottle and a donut, but he doesn't want to drink and he doesn't want to eat. This is because he has dysphagia to both liquids and solids. This is among the symptoms of achalasia. Dysphagia, along with possible chest pain, regurgitation, weight loss, and a nocturnal cough. All right, now let's talk about the most accurate test, manometry, which shows an increase in the resting LES pressure, along with incomplete LES relaxation upon swallowing. There's also a decrease in peristalsis in the body of the esophagus. And finally, we perform an EGD to rule out structural disorders beyond achalasia. For example, a mechanical obstruction, especially cancer. All right, now let's talk about treatment. So we notice this random NBC News logo on the wall over here. NBC reminds us of a mnemonic for short-term treatment for achalasia. N for nitrates, B for botulinum toxin injection into the LES, and C for calcium channel blockers. Long-term management may include pneumatic balloon dilation or surgical heller myotomy. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene on achalasia. Take care.